Hey guys, so this is Friday's video. So first thing I want you to do is you're going to look at this sheet. I want you to put a big old X on it. We're not going to do it. Okay? You do not have to do this. Then turn to this sheet. That's what we're going to be doing, and I'm going to walk you through this because this is going to help you when it comes to your problem solving um, activity today. So what you're actually going to need to do this is a clean sheet of notebook paper. I have some right here. So here's what I want you to do. I have kind of that I like to have my paper set up. So over here in this corner right here, I want you to put your name first and last. So like I would put Riley Moore. You're going to put today's date, which is 9-18-2020. All right, and just put math. This is part of what I refer to as a notebook setup, notebook page setup. Now over here, on top on what's called your header, you're going to put more with decimals. That's just your title. And that's how you set up your sheet of notebook paper. Now something else that I want you to do because it saves space and you're not wasting um, empty space. Fold your paper hot dog style. Okay. Now, you have an invisible crease. You can't see it, but you can feel it. All right. So what that means is that if you're writing on this side, we do not go past the crease. And when we start on this side, you start at the crease. So this is kind of like an invisible uh, border or boundary line that we have. See? Right there. All right. So... We're going to look at the sheet, and each problem, there's six of them, but each problem has an A and B. So how we number that, let me move this over a little bit. How we number that is you simply do number one, we're going to put A. All right, one A. And then we will do uh, one B once we get down to letter B. All right, so let's start at number one. It says the table below shows the weights of at two months of four puppies belonging to Abby, the Labrador. Okay, we have the puppies listed, Chewy, Louie, Betty, Lottie, and their weights in pounds. Now it says estimate the average weight of each puppy to the nearest whole pound. All right, so we are going to have to look at each puppy. Okay, we're going to look at each puppy. And we are going to see what they end up weighing. Okay, so the best thing to do is we're going to list the puppies and put their weights. Okay, so number one is Chewy. And Chewy weighs three and forty seven hundredths. All right. Louie weighs four and twenty five hundredths. He's three and ninety five hundredths. Lottie. Four and thirteen hundreds. All right, now what we have to do, it says we are going to weigh them to the nearest whole pound. So remember what whole means. It means the whole number. So we're going to look at the whole number, underline it. Okay, then look to the neighbor. So I'm just going to come right over here. Do my Estimate sign right here. 
and we're going to go 3 to the 4. So the 4 is less than 5, so Chewy weighs around 3 pounds. Okay, Chewy weighs around 3 pounds. Lottie, we have a 4 here, and then you're 2. Lottie weighs about 4 pounds. Betty, right here, Betty weighs 3.95. So that 9, because it's above 5, makes that 3 go up to a 4. So Betty weighs 4 pounds. The 1 is less than 5, so Lottie rounds to 4 pounds also. All right, now... You have the weights of each puppy. Okay, Chewy is 3 pounds. Louie is 4 pounds. Betty is five, uh, sorry, 4 pounds. Lottie is 4 pounds. Okay, so you have completed 1A. 1B. I'm sorry, it's from smallest to largest. Use the name of the puppy in your answer. Now, because we have four of those that are the same, three of these right here, they want you to use the actual weights. Okay, so they want smallest to largest. So we're looking for the smallest number first. And lucky for us, we already have our numbers lined up ready to compare. So I have a three, four, three, four. All right, out of those four numbers, which ones are the smallest? The threes. So I have 3.4, 3.9. Okay, which one's the smallest, 3.4 or 3.9? That's right, 3.4, and that is Chewy. So Chewy goes first, followed by Betty. All right, so we have those. So we'll put a little dot. Now we have 4.2, 4.1. Okay, 2 is larger than 1. So Lottie, then Louie. If you have needed to, you could um, have filled in down here. But... Try to just fit it in on one line. Okay, and as you can see, I'm skipping lines in between each answer. So we have answered 1A and 1B, so now we go to 2A. Right there. All right, 2A. I have Charlie. I have Charlie's weight, and he weighs 8 times 10 plus 4 times 1 plus... 7 times 1 tenth plus 4 times 1 hundredth. And then I have his older brother Harley's weight, which is 1 times 100 plus 2 times 10 plus 1 times 1 plus 4 times 1 tenth plus 8 times 1 hundredth. So letter A says give the weights for the boys in standard form. All right, so give the weights to the boys in standard form. So, I'm sorry, I had to go run and get something. So, like I said the other day, you can draw, if need be, a place value chart to write these down. But we have something that looks like this. Okay. Now... So we have Charlie. Charlie. Okay, he is eight tens. So I'm going to go to the tens and write an eight. Four ones. Okay. Seven tenths. Four hundredths. So Charlie weighs 84 pounds. I'm sorry, 84 and 74 hundredths pounds. So I'm going to write that down. And this is Charlie. 
All right, and then his brother Harley has 100, 2, 10, 1, 1. Okay, I have 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. So Harley weighs 121 and 48 hundredths pounds. Okay. B says round the weights to the nearest 10. So all I want to do is rewrite the numbers and round. So this is 2B. So the first weight is 84 and 74 hundredths. Um, let's see the nearest tenth. Okay. All right, 84 and the 7. Okay. The 7 is beside a 4. The 4 does not allow the 7 to bump up. So that rounds to 84 and 7 tenths pounds. All right, 120, 121, and 48 hundredths. Okay, the 4 allows the, I'm sorry, the 8 allows the 4 to bump up to a 5. So Harley now weighs 121 and 5 tenths pounds. See, normally when I give this, the kids freak out because, oh, it's so big. But once you take this and you just go line by line, it's not as difficult as you think. All right. So I just came is 5 and 625 thousandths years old. Her dog Barker is 5 and 55 hundredths years old. I have to give both ages in expanded form and compare the two ages using the names of the pets. Okay, so I'm going to go Meowie. Or me yeah, that's Meowie. Okay, so I have 5 and 625 thousandths. So I have a 5 as my whole number, so in expanded form, that would be 5 plus, okay, let's do the fractions, 6 tenths, so that'll be 6 times 1 tenth plus the 2's in the hundreds place, 2 times 1 hundredths plus 5 times 1 thousandths. And like I said, if you need to go to the other line, you can. But if you do, make sure you write Barker down here. Don't squeeze it all on one line. All right, now Barker, the dog. Okay, Barker is 5 and 55 hundredths. Okay, so the whole number is 5 plus 5 tenths. So that's 5 times 1 tenth plus 5 hundredths. So 5 times 1 hundredths. All right, now what it said we had to do was compare the two numbers using the cat or the animal's names. So we have on this paper, okay, you have Meowie right there who was 5 and 625 thousandths years old and Barker who was 5 and 55 hundredths years old. I'm going to add a zero to make it have the same amount of digits. Just go check. The fives are the same, but the number in the tenths places are different. Six is larger than five, so Trisha's cat is bigger than her dog. So that's a big cat. So what we're going to do is we're going to say Meowie. Sounds like you're saying Maui. 
blank Barker. And what did we say? We said Meowy the cat was larger than Barker the dog. Okay, 3B. 3B, what we have to do is we have to round to the nearest tenth of a year old. All right, so let's just write the things down. Okay, we have 5 and 625 thousandths compared to 5 and 55 hundredths. So we are rounding to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to underline the tenths place. And I'm going to look for the neighbor. The 2, unfortunately, does not allow the 6 to move. So that is 5.6 years old. All right. But lucky for Barker, this 5 and this 5 allows the first 5 to bump up to a 6. So if you were to round the animal's ages, they're actually the same age. Pretty neat. All right, number four. I'm going to go over here. Number four, A. All right, it says Aaron. One second, let me pull that up. Aaron gathered the seashells she found on the beach each day of her vacation and put them in a different bag each day. She weighs the bag, or she weighed the bags and put the data in the table below. So we have days of the week, Monday through Thursday, and the weight of the seashells. All right, part one is round the weights of the seashells for each day to the nearest whole pound. Then find the total weight of the seashells of the four days using the rounded weights. So we have two jobs. Number one, we have to round to the nearest pound. Two, we have to find the total weights. All right, we can do this. All right, so we have Monday, where she collected 11 and 375 thousandths pounds. Tuesday, where she, they found 9 and 65 hundredths pounds. Wednesday, they found 10 and 75 hundredths pounds. And then Thursday, seven and a half pounds. All right, so we are rounding to the nearest whole number. And as we do this, I'm going to try to line my numbers up as best as possible because we're just going to go ahead and write the answer for the weights down here. And I forgot to do something. I forgot to circle my answer for these. When you do that, it just helps me find the answers a little better when you do that. All right, so Monday, we're to the whole number. Okay, the 11 is beside a 3, which allows the 11 to stay. Okay, the 9 is beside a 6. The 6 is above 5, so this 9 gets to bump up a number. All right, it gets to bump up to a 10. So there would be a 0 in the 1's place and a 1 in the 10's place. So 10. All right, the 0 here is beside the 7. The 7, since it's above 5, allows a 0 to bump up to a 1. And then our lovely 7.5 rounds up to 8 because 5 allows us to do that. So now we're going to add it all up. So 11 plus 11 is 22, plus 8 is 30, plus 10 is 40. So our total weight, our total weight, what I put, is equal to 40 pounds. So this is one of our answers, and these are the rest.
All right, now part B, part B, now I'm going to be right here on my crease, okay? I have 4B, it says give the weight of the seashells on Monday in expanded form. So I'm going to write this out, 11 and 375 thousandths. So now all we have to do is write it out. Now you can write it out however your preference is uh, with your decimals, but I want to do the decimal form today. All right, so I have a 1 in the tens place, so that is 1 times 10 plus a 1 in the ones place, 1 times 1, plus a 3 in the tens place, plus 7 in the hundreds place, plus then a 5 in the thousands place. And there you go. And you could just do it like this right here. We circle it, be neat. I prefer that you circle your answers or I'll make you go back and highlight them. But I doubt that some of you have a yellow highlighter at home, so just circle it. Like the kids at um, here highlight their answers. Okay, so I have 5A. All right, 5A is Derek wrote his grandfather to let him know that he caught a fish that weighs 7 and 852 thousandths pounds. Letter A is write it in expanded form. So I have 7 and 852 thousandths pounds. We have to write in expanded form. So let's do the... Um, fractions for this one. So seven's in the ones place. Plus the eight is in the tenths place. 